welcome back to another video from my channel um today i'm in invasions mode playing with rain specifically as you can see i have his stats all in special because today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to how to level up rain faster i don't want to say fast because it still takes a little bit so it's not like you're gonna max him out in like 20 minutes but the fastest way i could think of Every other thing. So, I put all of his stats into his special because of the moves we're going to be using. The loadout I'm using is Frost because the Frost is Frost is like kind of the most safe cameo I could think of for doing this. You could probably probably use Serena also if you want. Um, Sub Zero might be good also. Those those three. But Frost is the main one because she's just, her range on her freeze is too nice. It doesn't matter the talisman and the relic. People do say to use the not junk relic for the 15% increased EXP gain. But that's just for your level in invasions. Because you can see the level 30 in the top corner for me. Top left corner. I'm already max level so I don't need it anymore. If you're not max level you might as well put it on. It won't be that bad. But if you don't, if you are max level, just don't put it on. It's a waste. So I'm using rain. And we're going to triple threat. It's in Wu Shang Village. And it's like one of the first places you get to. So I use Frost to start off. Kung Lao always walks up to you first. And Katana always jumps or uses her blade. And for Gears, it's like a 50 50 on what he does. You can never tell. He either will just block whatever you do and hit you, or you'll get, I wouldn't say lucky, but it's like a 90% chance you're just gonna have him just walking towards you. Always try to get a brutality and a flawless victory. I feel like I did that kind of fast. Let me, let me rewind a little bit. Let me backtrack a little bit. Okay, so we're in Mesa Select. You go to Feng, Feng Jin village, Feng Jian village, and let's see, I believe the start is all the way down here, right? Um, okay, so it's not that far away, it's just a couple steps. So from the start, just go up here. And it's literally just right here. If you have the shop unlocked for this place, the shop is right to the left of where we're going. And if you still have to travel, I'd recommend buying these guard masks so you don't get ambushed when you're walking around. Because ambushes are annoying. Anyways, come here. It's called Triple Threat. Endurance, three enemies, level one. We go into it. My bad. First things first, you know, okay, he either walks forward or walks back and throws his hat. Anyways, the move I always use first is I always do Frost's Ice Carpet, which is forward R1. They they literally never block it. Or at least Kung Lao doesn't and Katana doesn't usually. It's like a 99% chance of hitting this Ice Carpet. And then after that, they get frozen. And then I use Rain's water beam. Forward, wait, back forward square. It does so much damage. Especially when you put all your stats into the special. It's just nice. Watch. There we go. And then cross again. Forward back square. There we go. And we got Gears. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have my frost yet because I use it. But you can hold this move down and watch. It just it just has them stunned for a little bit so you can do your setup. I know that was a fail. But that was just because I was just showing you guys Frost's move. I'm gonna show you how I actually take this on. Right here. 
and I'll talk during it too. So, first things first, Kung Lao. I'm going to freeze with Frost. Oh wow, he blocked it. We ducked that. Just attack him, and instantly attack Katana. Sometimes I've never seen Kung Lao block it with the duck. But I charged up the last one on Gears, and then I use this because of my brutality. If you don't have this brutality yet, you can just do your max powered water beam and then freeze him again and uppercut him. It will it will kill also. So I just got rain at level 20. Let me show you guys. If if you don't have the brutality yet, I'm gonna show y'all how you can do it without it. Because everybody starts off with the uppercut brutality. So watch. Fart. Okay, I didn't think he was going to eat two of them, but it still worked out. I also didn't charge up my my water beam all the way because I messed it up the input, so I didn't think I was going to get it off. So I didn't charge it up all the way, but if you do charge it up all the way, you should be able to do the uppercut one hit afterwards. I'll try it one more time. Let's see. Okay, that, that time it didn't work because when you attack him when he's doing a move, it won't give you the brutality. For any type of brutality brutality you try to do, if you attack them while they're attacking you, it, it just doesn't work. But you get the gist. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.